All right. So, one more hour of Minecraft here on the stream this week. Hopefully, you guys have liked it so far. Like I said, we're working. Uh, we're working on the Jasper statue. I'm gonna try to figure out how on earth do I get colored blocks. Some people are saying make colored wool, but I'm not. Can you make colored wool into stairs? I don't think you can, right? So I don't. Maybe I can't do it. Maybe I should do, suggest, as Mr. Papavera didn't, just do wooden blocks. As it seems like I can't seem to make colored blocks. Derek says he's really looking forward to the Women's Showcase one in WWE 2K20 this year. He liked the Daniel Bryan one last year. I honestly completely forgot that Daniel Bryan was the Showcase one last year. My favorite Showcase or whatever was the Attitude Era. That was the one where they had all the Attitude Era matches that were really, like, prominent, fun matches in it. It was really nice, in my opinion. Um, so, in that regard, you know, I thought it was pretty, quite sweet. Uh, I, there was also the Austin, right? Wasn't there one that was just all Austin? That was kind of nice, too, but I like that the one that was like the mix of Attitude Era more than that, so. Okay. Ice Crowbar took me $3 and says, how's Jasper? Jasper is good. He's spending a lot of time with Kat this week. Uh, when I left them, they were out there napping in the living room together after dinner. We had all eaten together and, you know, called my parents for the week. Had a nice conversation with my parents about how stuff's going. <clears throat> and, and then... Um, and then basically, uh, relaxed for a little bit, talked a little bit about the coming week, and then she and Jasper laid down and kind of started taking a nap on the couch, and I said I had to come upstairs to stream, so, that's where they are, I haven't heard, I haven't heard a jingle or anything outside my door, uh, so, <laughs> they're not there yet, so Jasper will probably be returning to streams around the middle of this coming week. You know, since Kat has been on vacation, I have not uh, had Jasper in here for a stream because he's spending a lot of time with her. Which, by the way, he loves the fact that she's around. He absolutely loves the fact that she's around the house all day because usually she's at work, I'm streaming, so he just kind of, like, hangs out in the house by himself. And, you know, there's a lot to do, don't get me wrong. He's got a cat tree, he's got toys, he's got multiple windows to crawl in. He runs around, he does all kinds of stuff. The back door, he loves the back door of the house, which is a big, you know, screen door slash glass door because he gets to see the whole backyard and sometimes we get animals like squirrels and stuff back there that he likes to jump around and chase or uh you know uh birds he'll go crazy at the window <clears throat> and over in our bedroom our back window is a giant view of the entire giant back area which is actually a dog walking park but it's all these beautiful trees grass and we get all kinds of animals out there like we've seen uh wild rabbits and stuff out there and he loves it. He just likes watching the animals all day long. Like, he's enamored with it. He coos at the birds and stuff. So it's not like when Cat's not here, he has nothing to do. But it's nice. If it's a night stream, I open my door. He can come in and join us if he feels like it. But since she's been home, he's spending a ton of time with her. And uh, he's loving that, you know. So he's basically getting very spoiled this week while she's home. <laughs> Okay. Yes, Baldy. I would say that the Outer Worlds is my is my most forward to my most looked forward to release of a game that I know a lot about and I trust is going to be good. Death Stranding is like my unknown entity kind of game. I have no idea if that game will be good or not, and I'm looking forward to that one too. Okay. Ice. So Ice Crowbar, thank you for the three dollar tip. We're gonna update the leaderboard here. Hold on. We're up to twenty one dollars in tips tonight. Now I would say that would have made you the top contributor. However. It didn't because immediately after you, Sambuca2020 did a 305-bit cheer. He becomes the top contributor tonight. He says, our pending message is distracting. Um, not distracting, but it's very hard to keep up with them. You know, the di like I told you guys, the difference between those messages and a cheer or a tip or a sub message is that cheering, tipping, and subbing messages sit in a queue that I can read at my leisure. So right now, even though there's two more contributions that came in after Sambuca... I don't have to worry about missing them because they're sitting in a queue and I can easily just re respond to those later, right? But in react regards to these these penne messages, right? I look over here. See, Mr. Proverb just did when he said, this is a distracting highlighted message. I want them to be distracting, but the problem is if I'm focusing on, like, for example, reading something from an actual contributor who, who contributed something on the stream, I'm uh, that takes priority and those messages just get lost, 
You see what I mean? Like, those messages will show up. As soon as they scroll off the screen, there's no way for me to ever see them again. There's no queue on Twitch where you can access your penne or channel point messages. So, it is what it is. Like, if they're missed, they're missed. And I can't help that at all. You see what I mean? Um, so... Even though the penny point system is nice, and every once in a while I may catch your message and give you a shout out or whatever, or respond to it, it's still way better for you to contribute with cheering, something or tipping because that I'm guaranteed to respond to because it sits in the queue until I have the time to respond to it. Right now, there would have been no lie, three people if they had used the penny points messages instead of cheering, something or tipping, I wouldn't be responding to their messages tonight. Just saying, okay? <clears throat> so there is definitely a benefit to, uh, to con contributing via the traditional methods versus the penny points. So M5NSX Charity said it's only natural that a cat hangs with cat. Right, and keep in mind my wife, cat, loves cats. Not that she doesn't like dogs, not that she doesn't like other small animals, but cats are her favorite animal of all as a pet. And so she's super happy that we have one and, you know, made her... Basically when we got one, it made everything around here a lot nicer. Let's put it that way, so... Okay, Mr. Papa Vera Charity says you can use different stone for the different colored uh, stone stairs. As far as dying blocks, you can die concrete, but you can't make concrete stairs. So it seems like no matter what, unless I make the collar out of wood, it's going to kind of be the same color. So I guess what I'll do then, I'll probably just do wood stairs. I'll probably go make like what, a few wood stairs and a few wood blocks to make this collar out of, and that'll be it. Maps facts. Tim and Tyler saying there were World War II silk maps were sealed in Monopoly games along with real money hidden along the fake and new games pieces such as a working compass. These special games and maps were sent to war camps to help prisoners escape. What on earth? Seriously? Alright, that's so crazy trivia. Haha. <laughs> I never heard that before. That's kind of interesting. Thank you for that. So we're up to $23 in tips tonight. Thank you to everyone who tipped because that helps me more than anything right now. And I really do need help with tips, please, guys, if you can. But thanks to everyone who also contributed other methods. Sambuca 2020 is currently the top contributor of tonight's stream. And I'll be streaming for roughly another 50 minutes or so on tonight's stream. Okay? Very nice. Frog in a tuxedo said, imagine the time that you'd be saved if Papa, Mr. Papa Vera was in the world helping you. Yeah, but he can't be. The world was created as a non-interactive world or a non-multiplayer world. Therefore, there's no way he could ever join it. It's only ever, ever just going to be me because when I created the world, I, cre I created it as a closed uh, world, you know? I didn't know about that when I made the world. I didn't know enough, enough about it. <laughs> okay. And by minus X, just cheered and said, I'll keep up the facts and trivia. Maybe PBS will sponsor the stream. <laughs> okay. Oh, WJR says someone else had asked, am I going to use Xbox Game Pass for the Outer Worlds? No, there's two reasons why I'm not doing this. I already explained them. I'll explain them again. The first is the Outer Worlds is aiming to be a pretty long RPG style game. And being that I'm going to be juggling four games at the same time when I first start to play it. And over the course of November, there's like another four games I'm adding to the rotation. Chances are there's no way I'm beating the Outer Worlds within a month. My Xbox Game Pass runs out at the end of November. So it would make no sense to get it for a month and then not be able to play it again unless I spend more money. In addition to that, um, <clears throat> I would have to play it on Xbox One. And I actually read up on this. Basically, PlayStation 4 and Xbox, the original Xbox One are not going to run the game great. They'll run it okay, but not great. Apparently on PS4 Pro, it runs it better. And on Xbox One X, apparently it runs it best. Okay? But I have a PS4 Pro. It would make no sense whatsoever for me to, to ha play this on Xbox One when the game is going to run much better on PS4 Pro. And in addition to that, if I like the game a lot... And later on, they decide, oh, we're going to do expansion DLCs. Much like, if you want to, like, think about, you know, Mass Effect or Knights of the Old Republic. Imagine if those games had cool DLCs. It's kind of the same thing I'm thinking. Maybe they'll do that later on. 
Uh, and if they do that, but I bought it under Xbox Game Pass again, I would have to get Game Pass again later on at a future date in order to even get the game back. It's just not worth it. I'd rather just buy it outright, say I have it, it's mine, right? It's part of my my game, my digital game rights. And if I want to, you know, play it at length for three, four months, I don't have to worry about keep constantly updating Game Pass or anything like that. And in addition to that, um, you know, at a later date, if I want to delete it now, re-download it later, because there's a DLC or an expansion, I want to go back to it in two, three years and replay it because there's a sequel coming out, I'll always have the ability to do that without having to spend additional funds. So that's why I'm going to get by the game, okay? X shook ones X just to me five dollars to become the top contributor of the night. They say the following: Has there ever been a year in gaming where January through May have have strong game releases like what's coming in 2020? First of all, outside of maybe like I know February and March, pretty much there's like five major games each of the months or something crazy like that. I don't know what's coming in January. I don't know what's coming in April or May. Like I really haven't sat down to look at the gaming schedule. To map it out. I will probably do that in December. Because usually that's when I... At the end of the year, I'll sit down and I'll do kind of a preview of what's coming for the rest of the year. Um, and remember, I had this idea. Someone gave me this idea a couple months ago. They said, Phil, how about once a quarter, you sit down to preview what you're going to be doing for the next quarter. You go through your gaming schedule. You explain the games that you're interested in. If there's any special events or things that will be happening during that time frame. You can kind of sit down and make a video for YouTube about that and do a stream about it as well. So I may be doing that like in December. I'll do, oh, here's a preview of the first quarter of 2020. And here's the games that I'm planning on covering and stuff like that. But I mean, I can think of a few like The Last of Us 2 is obviously a giant one everyone's looking forward to. Um, Doom Eternal, which got delayed. That's one everyone's looking forward to. I mean, there's probably like five games that I'm thinking of right now that I know I'm interested in. But I couldn't tell you off the top of my head what all the games are coming out between now and May. Because of that, I can't legitimately answer your question because I couldn't say, oh yeah, remember that year where there was all those games? It's hard, especially because you remember, I've been doing this for 11 years. So some of the years tend to blend together. I would tell you this, the one year that stands out, I, I want to say it was 2012 or 2013, whatever year Bioshock Infinite came out, that year still in my mind stands out as like one of the most outstanding years where there were so many great games within that one year of that of, of, of game so many I mean it was like Skyrim, fucking Bioshock Infinite, you know, it was like boom, 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 like insanely great games just coming out back to back to back. And it was just like there was not even a lull. Like maybe you had a month where there wasn't a big one, then boom, another giant great one. And it's it's just so different now in the modern gaming era. We so rarely get that, right? We so rarely get a time now where you get nonstop great releases. It's maybe like two a year that blow you away. I mean, I could tell you last year there were two. It was God of War and Red Dead Redemption 2, probably Dragon Quest uh, 11, and maybe one or two other games that kind of blew me away last year. But outside of that, you know, it's not like, oh my God, it's not like it used to be. That year, I remember, it was like so many fucking games, right? So, I don't know. I, I'm just saying, you know, I wish that we still had years like that. Maybe 2020 will be that year. Maybe 2020 will finally be the year where, you know, all that happens. Maybe. I guess we'll see, okay? <clears throat> okay. So, anyway. Hold on a second here. Let me get you up on the leaderboard because you are the top con contributor of the night. I don't want to leave you up there too long and then people don't understand that the top contribution is $5. So, X. Fun dog facts of the dollar says the poodle haircut was originally meant to improve the dog's swimming. With the pom-poms left in place to warm their joints. Holy shit. Who would have known that? Andrew Yang to be $2 said, Phil, how much of a game changer would $1,000 a month be for your financial situation? Would it help? Yes. Would it actually be a game changer? Nah, like $1,000 a month would help a lot, but it wouldn't like get rid of all of my problems or anything like that. You know what I mean? Like, but it would help, you know, but you know, I understand a lot of people think that's a lot of money for me. That would definitely help, but it wouldn't just completely negate everything. Okay. Um, and you know, Andrew Yang, a Democrat running for president in the United States wants to do that. He wants to have that $1,000 a month stipend from the government. 
to every family in, in America or something like that. That's one of his plans. So, huh. All right, anyway, fishing's done. I guess we can take a look at our, our, our catch and see what we got. Let's take a quick look here. My God. <laughs> so many bows. Even more name tags. More fishing rods, right? Oh, man. Do I have any rod that I could put into this rod that would actually improve it? I want to check that. Uh, Gavin Good, subscribe to the channel. Thank you, Gavin Good, for the sub. I appreciate that. Okay. So, my fishing rod has the following. Let's take a look. Look at the C3, Unbreaking 3, Lure 3, and Mending 1. This only has those two. That I already have. Unbreaking 3. Mine has that. Okay. Unbreaking 3. Unbreaking 3, Mending 1, Lure 2. No. Look at the C2. Unbreaking 3. Lore 2, Mending 1. What I might do is combine a bunch of these rods to make another good rod. That way, I have a backup. So this one is, look at the C2 and Lore... I need, I need Mending 1 and I need Unbreaking 3. Right? Here we go. By the way, so these bows, power four. I don't even know where my good bow is anymore. It's in one of these. Power of four. Mending one, punch one. Unbreaking three, infinity, and punch. Let's try to combine some of this shit. Seriously. Do I have a 4K monitor? This is not a monitor. It's a TV. It does have 4K capability, but I don't use 4K because I can't. Because my capture setup doesn't work with it. All right, so we're nine experience, unbreaking three, punch two, power three, and infinity one. All right, now you have power four, punch two, infinity one, and unbreaking three. Okay, I only have three experience left, so there you go. Okay, you can have infinity and mending on the same bow. Okay. Actually, yes, you can. Hold on. Yes, you can. Where's my bow? My bow has that. My bow is... Oh, here it is. Oh, my bow isn't... I thought my bow was mending. It's not. Oh, wait, that's not it. That's not my bow. That's the one I just made. Where's my bow with all the high-level high, high level shit on it? Here it is. Yeah, look. It does have... No, it doesn't. It has flint. I thought my bow had it. I'm wrong. Well, color me schnookered. I was wrong, completely wrong. I'm glad you told me that. Now I know that. I've been schnookered. Whatever the fuck that means. Okay. So, getting back to the subject at hand now, okay? What I wanted to do, I wanted to make a couple wooden stairs and wooden blocks, right? Oh, hold on. Sambuka just did a 1,005-bit cheer. And he, and, he, and he says, I don't know what I'll ask for if I win, but I want to support you, Phil. Well, thank you, Sambuka. If you win, remember, if you are the top contributor of the night, you get to either ask me to name anything in my Minecraft world, or you can... uh. Have me build something. Think of a project you'd like me to do here in Minecraft at a future date. Now, keep in mind, Minecraft is going to go on the back burner for a little bit as we do many new releases coming up in the next couple of weeks. But once we get downtime, I'll be doing this again. And your thing would be on the agenda for the next stream if and when we, you know, not if we do it, but when we do it, okay? So thank you, Sam Buka. You're currently the top contributor of the night. Cecil Omner just reached over 12 months, so a full year. From Cecil Omner, thank you so much for the support, Cecil. I appreciate that, man. Okay. 
Polish Frog, I have no idea. He says, do you have to pay sales tax when you use PSN credits to buy games? I think... The way I, I would see it, I think the way it is, is... The person who... Whoever originally buys the credits... Has to pay the sales tax. Because it would be... Think of it this way. If someone bought $100 of PSN credit... They pay sales tax on that, right? Whatever it is in your state or whatever in the United States. But then... If that if that person went and you went to use to buy a game and they charge you sales tax again, that's double dipping. That's double sales tax. So as long as the person who bought the PSN credits paid sales tax on them already, then there's no additional sales tax, I guess. That's what I'm guessing. Darud Boy did a 500 bit cheer. He's a sub DSP sub chat. You'll see Sonic Fox, Wimble Dragon Ball Fighters, and MK11 at ECT. Uh, no, I don't follow gaming events like that anymore. But good to hear that he's still at the top of his game. Thank you for the cheer. Spawn Killer took me a dollar. I just got home from work. How did the Jasper statue turn out? We're still working on it, Spawn Killer. We have not finished it yet, actually. It's been our ongoing project of the night. And what we're going to do now, <clears throat> we're going to make a couple wooden blocks and wooden stairs so that he will have a collar that looks different coloring from the rest of his body. I have a couple blocks here. Hold on a second. I need two blocks and four stairs. So I have the two blocks. But now I need the four stairs. Do I have them? Yes. Look at that. So we actually have the blocks needed. Alright, looks like we're going to sleep. And then we're going to head over there and continue on with the statue, right? Have I tried making you a railway yet? No frog in a tuxedo. I have not. Everyone has recommended that I do this. That I make a railway between this village and... And my original settlement at the very beginning of when I started playing. Uh, I never got around to it because I, I it basically it's too difficult. Like I tried to get a villager from here back to my settlement and he died along the way. Um, what I would need to do is clear a clear defined path between the two. And then I could build the railway over water or whatever I need to do. But I just haven't gotten to do it yet. So <clears throat> Derek is taking off or have a good night Derek. See you later. Local Nomad doesn't work like that. Local Nomad just said, Have you ever considered selling your PSN account to a private buyer? You must have hundreds of games in your accounts library. I, from, from, from what I'm to understand, that's illegal. Like, you can't actually um, transfer an account through a monetary transaction from one person to another because of the rights management of, of PlayStation Network. I guess that's, I don't think that's possible. I could be wrong, but I think that's completely illegal. You couldn't sell an account. Like, if someone put my... It's Darkside Phil's PSN account. He's played games for the past, you know, 10 years as digital rights for, for hundreds of games. Vote, you know, bid now on eBay for $1,000 or something. I'm pretty sure it's it's not possible. I think it's illegal. Like, it's against their terms or whatever. So, Sticky Dinks just said, yes, I think it's against their terms of service. There you go. Um, Phil's smelly ass to me $6 said, build a wallet for all the money you don't have. Great, thanks. But you're not the top contributor, so I don't have to do that, but I do have to put you up on the leaderboard. Then we got a troll saying, <laughs> asking people to click on your ads isn't, isn't allowed either. That's right, and I did that in 2009 before I had any idea what the hell I was doing on YouTube. I said it erroneously in a video um, before I even monetized any gameplay videos at all. That was when I was only monetizing vlogs and the like. And... You know, admittedly, what I did when I did it, it was wrong. I mean, I have to, I know I did it because people linked me to the video a million times. It was wrong to do. I was stupid about it and I shouldn't have ever done that or said that. That was 10 years ago. That was 10 years ago. That was 10 years ago. One, zero. A decade ago. And you bring it up like it happened today. Who's the real asshole here? Alrighty then. Did I add the $6 to the total tips of the night? I don't know if I did. <laughs> I don't even know if I did. Okay. Anyway, I guess I'm just going to continue on. Let's show Spawn Killer, our Jasper statue. Okay, here it is. It's not done yet, but this is a staircase that's to help me get up of it. Or help me get up of it. Help me get up it. Um... Not done yet. What the fuck? What is this? Why is there a hole here? 
Hold on a second. What the fuck is this? Whoa, there's a lot of water here. I gotta cover this shit up. Oh my god, I gotta cover this up. If I don't cover this up, I'm gonna fall the fuck in. Hold on a second here. Fun dog faxed me another dollar and says dogs are capable of locating the source of a sound six one hundredths of a second by using their swirling ears like radar dishes. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Dogs have ears like radar dishes. Yeah, dogs have great sense of uh, great sense of smell and great sense of hearing. I knew that. I don't know how good their sight is, but I know sense of smell and sense of hearing are incredibly strong. We already found out earlier tonight from this person, um, you know, and we already uh, we already found out that they have a, a, a not as good of a sense of taste, which is kind of weird. You think that all the dog senses would be better than the humans, but they're not. Okay, very nice. <clears throat> all right, I feel I filled up those halls. All right, so what we're gonna do now? We're gonna go up, and apparently we're gonna make Jasper's collar. Okay. Ah, shit. All right, so we're on top. Let me bring back the, the, the uh, diagram up again. Maps, facts, now to me another dollar. <laughs> oh, boy. Is throughout medieval times in Europe, most maps of the world known as Mappa Mundi were expensive but to create by hand, so were used by royals and nobles as displays of wealth rather than practical purposes. <laughs> no one used them for anything practical, huh? That's kind of funny. Okay. Has Kat cooked any good new meals since her break started? Yeah, she made slow cooker chicken tacos, which were amazing. Then the next day she made baked chicken. That was really good. Um, what did she make yesterday? Shit. Because today I cooked. I just did chicken, breaded chicken patties. It was like very crappy, you know, something fast. And then the other day I made um, <clears throat> stir fry, Asian stir fry. That was Friday? What the hell did she make yesterday? She made something yesterday. I'm having a brain fart. Anyway, Bayloaf to me a dollar says, why don't you play Souls-like games? You always get contributions when you play those because, number one, I played a ton of them. They're kind of played out at this point. I hate to say it, they just are. I played a ridiculous amount. This year, I already played Sekiro. I wanted to do a New Game Plus run of Sekiro and no one wanted to see it, so I never did it. All these Soulsborne knockoffs came out in this last month, and not one of them impressed me. And the truth of the matter is, if I played one of them, everyone would have complained that I didn't play the others. So, I wasn't interested in them whatsoever, so I didn't play them. Um, so, two wooden blocks and then two stairs on each side of each wooden block. But, I understand what you're saying. Yes, you're right. Some people will come and contribute. On the, on the flip side of that, Balo... Not always. Seriously, like, not always. Um, sometimes it seems like people will contribute and then they don't. Because they're just here to shit on me rather than actually to help or contribute. You see what I mean? Like, they'll sit here and shit on me constantly. But when it comes to actually contributing to help me out and keep things going, they won't do that. They'll, they're only here to make fun of me rather than to actually enjoy a fun stream. I noticed that a lot this year, particularly during the Sekiro stream, where a lot of people were here just to laugh at me, and no one really contributed during certain streams, which is honestly why I was a little bit skeptical about doing another Soulsborne-style game at this point, when right now I really want to do stuff that people are going to like and enjoy and find engaging and fun and are going to want to help with contributions and the like. I don't want to just do something that people... It just attracts the wrong kind of people for the wrong reasons. You see what I mean? Um, with the retro stuff I've been doing recently, it's been the complete and utter opposite. Where it's been like a lot of positive people coming by um, to hang out with me and to 
really, you know, not only enjoy the retro vibe that I'm doing during those streams, but to help me out as well, which is really nice. So, okay. Fun, fun dog facts to me a dollar. So there are approximately 600 million dogs in the world's estimated. There are 400 million of those dogs are strays. Please adopt. Don't buy. I agree. There's too many pets out there that need to be adopted or rescued. We don't need to go buy one from a freaking puppy farm somewhere when you can easily rescue a perfectly good pet, a cat, a dog, whatever, from one of these shelters, okay? Sam Bridges Chase, your middle of your solid one run was traumatizing to watch, and I'm sure you know that you'll put on a lot of views if you do a redemption run. That's great. I'm not doing it anytime soon. Graveyard Molly Chase, the bad man is streaming again. There you go. So I don't care. So goodbye, Graveyard Molly. Nobody cares, and we nobody cares about you either. Okay. So the next thing, okay, we're going to do a block. Where's the tail? There. So we're going to do a stone block here and a stone block here and a stone block here. Okay. Then we're going to do all upside down staircases. Like that. No! Like that. Haha. -ha. Okay. Fuck. How am I going to do this? <laughs> this is becoming very precarious. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I think I trapped myself here. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Ah, oh, fucking shit. All right, that was a bad idea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Hold on, I'm gonna fix this. Here's what we're gonna do. I don't know why I didn't do that to begin with. That was stupid of me. Okay. Can't go that way. I'm gonna fall. Fuck. All right, whatever. Ah! I got them on one side. Time to sleep. And my minute sex Judy says, "Bitch, you used to live in a bad part of Connecticut. Did you ever hear gunshots outside your house?" Yes. Yes. There was a group of, of gang member kids who would sit behind our fence and smoke pot every single night. And no one cared. If you called the cops or whatever, no one would come. No one gave a shit. Um, there were gunshots that would regularly run out around our neighborhoods. Not that it would be right outside my house, but like a street or two over. Um, yeah, it was bad. It was fucking bad. I did not live in a good spot. I wanted to, I wanted to move. And my parents just would not listen to me. I was like, God, you know, I, I want to be somewhere safe. I wanna, I'm going to live. I want to live. You know, I don't want to die for some dumb fucking reason. You know, and my parents just didn't understand that because they had grown up there their whole lives. And to them, that was their home. And they never wanted to leave. And they're like, no, we're going to be here forever. I was like, wow, you guys just don't understand life. Like, I understand nostalgia or whatever, but like. At some point, you got to move on and cut your losses and say, fuck this place. Like, I understand you grew up in a place, but the other thing is, like, at one point, my mom had relatives there and stuff, but they're all gone. There's, like, one person left alive. I'm not even kidding. There's, like, like just very few people left in Connecticut who my parents are re related to who there's a reason why they would need to stay there. And it blew me away that they just refused to fucking leave. I was like, you could come anywhere else in the country. It would be safer than where you are right now. I don't understand it. They didn't listen. They didn't want to listen. Okay, now. I fucked this up because now I have extra blocks. I know I do. Yeah, I put extra blocks down here. No, I put this... Oh, shit. I put it on the wrong side. This is supposed to go on the other side. This is the front. And the front is supposed to have one stone overhanging straight this way. Yes, that's how it's supposed to look. And then 
There's not supposed to be any stone here. This is extra shit that I put to walk on. Yeah, that's extra shit I put to walk on just like this. That's extra. Okay. So this is the statue. Now let me make sure it's even. It is, see? Yup, so that's how it's supposed to be. That's the head now. The problem is, I need to get at the top of this thing to build another level, and I can't. Like, I need to go to the ground and build a giant column of, of fucking stones to jump on top of all of this in order to get to the top and finish it. Yeah. Full of smelly chair, Chitty said, I don't mean to be a nagging Nancy. There are children watching. Can we tone the effing and jeffing down? No. In fact, fuck that stupid bullshit. Uh, Phil Smilly asked if $11. So my dad said I could have five of the 12 Dr. Peppers. So I'll have one today, two the next, two the day after that. Please build a giant Dr. Pepper. What on earth? Someone who just still Phil Smilly ass tipped $11 and wants me to build a giant can of Dr. Pepper. Oh my god. That's a, that's an interesting task. That would be an interesting one for Mr. Papavera to try to figure out. Because I'm sure people have done it. But would there be readily available like guidelines on how to do it? You know what I mean? Or would we just have to make a giant cylinder and then do our best to try to decorate it to make it look like Dr. Pepper? <laughs> oh, man. So if you can believe it, still Phil's smelly ass is an eleven. the top tip with $11, top contributor of the night, and with 20 to 25 minutes left on the stream, they may be the top contributor of the night, and we may be making a giant Dr. Pepper can, okay? Um, Maps Facts tipped me a dollar, said the, the Waldemuller map drawn in 1507 by German cartographer Martin Waldemuller, excuse me, Waldemuller, his first recorded instance of the world America, or word America, appearing on a map, the only known copy of the map within the U.S. Library of Congress is purchased for $10 million. Very nice. Why on earth anyone would have fucking bought that for $10 million? I have no idea. <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. Okay. Um, no! Drunk Boris Yeltsin, my parents can't afford to leave Connecticut. They just refuse. There's. Let me put it this way. There's various reasons. My mom has certain reasons why she doesn't want to leave. My dad... There's just... Do I think they're very good reasons? No, I don't. But there's reasons that they claim that they don't want to leave. And I can't necessarily make them leave. I tried to convince them a million times. I said, why don't you come out here? There's plenty of places out here to move. The weather's better for you for you guys and your health. My dad could probably, you know, if he needed to even get a job for just a couple years to, to work at, like, Boeing or something, he probably could until he could retire or whatever. They just never listen. They would not listen to me. So I can't make them leave. And I can't make them do things, so it is what it is. They're gonna be there forever, I guess, till they till they pass away. Philip Smilly Chair, stop that right now. He's not asking me to tone down the swearing again, and the answer is no. Okay. I'm on top of this cat's head. So, wait a minute. No, I think I fucked all this up. No, I didn't. Cause I did I didn't fuck it up. I need to put the backwards, upside-down staircase on this side. Yes. I did not screw it up. There. That's correct. Okay. That layer is done. Because it's nine, and then one, and then one. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Moving on to the next layer. <laughs> it's so complicated to do this. <sighs> Graveyard Molly... You literally directly violated a major rule of the stream, which is you don't bring up detractors. You don't bring up the stuff they do. By mentioning them on stream, you literally give them attention, which is all they want is attention for themselves. When you bring them up, you give them attention. Now you want to get unbanned. If I unban you, are you never going to bring that up again? I give you a chance, I guess. There. One and only chance. You do it again, you're out of here. Okay. I mean, everyone heard that lie. Graveyard Molly needs to abide by the rules. <sighs> okay. So I gotta put nine more blocks down. Okay. Then, on the front side where it would be the face, which is here, it's a... a 
standing. Oh god, how do I? I think I could do it. Fuck! That didn't work. It worked. Yes, I needed a stair, a, a face up staircase. Okay. Then on the okay, I need a, a, a block going off the back, a solid block. Wait. 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 What the? No, that's not right. It's the wrong side. Oh my god. Oh. Apparently, I was standing on that. All right, well, <laughs> I didn't do that right. I gotta, gotta get back up there. Ow! That will never work. Okay, so, on the tail, there's a thing sticking out. That's correct, because what I'm supposed to do is put a block right here. That's correct now. What I'm supposed to do on the front is put that staircase. Yes. Like this. Good, that's correct. Now... I'm supposed to put on the back side again. Four upside down staircases? But this is confusing. Hmm. These staircases are definitely supposed to be upside down facing this way, like this. I know that. Yes, like that. And like that. But I'm also supposed to put... Two upside down staircases going off this way. And I think they're supposed to go like this. I think. Like that. And like that. Okay. We're not done yet, but I, I have to find the next picture. Because. Here it is. Oh, I found it. Here it is. Oh, he's showing me that you can actually attach a coral fan to the side of the face to make it actually look like whiskers coming out of the face. Really? That's kind of neat. That's really neat, actually. Um... Yeah. Oh, my nose is itching. Yeah, so Hold on a second here Some weird stuff's going on well, I mean, I say, The reason I say that is Oh shit, I gotta go to sleep I've noticed today some identical tips were coming through PayPal And I get the feeling that maybe Someone, some people may have had a, a duplicate tips charge in error. I don't think that's their fault. I think it may be PayPal screwing up and double charging things. I could be wrong. But, by the way, a creeper is down there near my facility. That's disturbing. Is he going to blow up my horse? You think he's going to blow up my horse? Oh, no. No, he walked around the horse and ignored it. Oh shit, I didn't know that would happen. Anyway, um, yeah, I noticed that there were a few 
tips that came through today that were complete duplicates. For example, I just received a duplicate tip earlier earlier tonight. Shook ones tipped me five dollars and said, "Has there ever been a year in gaming where January through May have been strong gamer releases like what's going on in 2020?" I already answered the whole question, right? Now it came through again, and I'm wondering, did they intentionally do that, or is that an error? Was that not intentional? And that kind of sucks if that's completely unintentional. Because number one, that means that they're hopefully they'll get reimbursed. But number two, that means that the amount of tips that I've been counting all day is wrong. Because there may be duplicate tips that I've counted erroneously. Oh, that sucks. Anyway, I'm purposely not going to count that tip because I get the feeling that one's going to get refunded because it's a duplicate one. Okay. Anyway, Graveyard Molly Part 2 Cheers said, Thank you. I will send some Molly Rocks your way if you ever need some. I don't even know what the hell those are. What's a Molly Rock? I don't know. Probably a drug reference or something. First stream was great, Drunk Boris Yeltsin. Good combination of fun stuff with Super Mario World and frustration with Super Mario uh, Kart. So. so, the thing is, Mr. Papa Vera, I don't think I have any of these Coral fans. I don't even know where to get them. I guess if I ever find some, I could come back up here and add them. But I don't think I have any Coral fan. I know I don't have any on me anyway. Okay. So continuing on here. I get the feeling there's going to be way more staircases than I have. How many? I only have two staircases. According to this, I need... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more staircases. And two more stone slabs. I have two more stone slabs. But apparently I miscalculated staircases. So in order to finish this statue, I have to leave and come back. I have to get more staircases. Fuck. That sucks. We're almost done, though. And with about... 15 minutes left on the stream. I think we will finish this tonight or get damn close. Let me go make some more staircases now. Shout out to Creepy Creeper who tipped a dollar. Said, have you ever thought about doing a stream where the top contributor during the day stream can pick your night stream's game? Well, here's the thing. That's a good idea. But if I did that, it wouldn't be for the same day. Like, maybe what I would do is, okay, you guys contribute during the day. And whoever the top contributor picks a game. And that will be played later this week at, at night. And the reason I do that is because... <clears throat> People want to know what I'm playing. They don't want to just have no idea what's going to be on a certain stream. And if that's the case, I did it that way. People would have no idea what would be on that night stream until the last, very last minute. Um, in addition, it has to be a game that's viable. You know what I mean? So it might be, oh, top contributor gives me some suggestions. And then I, we talk about it and determine what game will be played. <clears throat> so what I would say is it's not out of the question. That's actually a decent idea. And thank you for that idea. I should definitely have enough now. Um, but it's not something that I could do. I would definitely delay it like to later in a week or something like that. And by the way, that would definitely be when there's more downtime and sh time for, for stuff like this versus not a new release time, which is what I'm about to come up across, okay? <clears throat> Fun dog facts tip of the dollar. So this is a myth dogs are colorblind. They actually can see in color, but not as vividly as humans. Similar to our vision at dusk. This has been Silas Darko. I was bored and thought it would be funny. I'll stop if chat is annoyed with it. I'm not annoyed with the dog facts. I'm okay with them. I guess that's the stream chat and people are annoyed. I like the dog facts today. I thought they were interesting. I appreciate all the contributions, so thank you for that, Silas. Okay. Hello, Ellipsian. How's it going, man? By the way, Ellipsian, FYI, if you haven't noticed yet, you uh, Twitch is doing away with rooms. There's no more chat rooms. Like, there's no moderator room. Within a couple weeks, it'll be completely gone. So we already set up something new. Please join the moderator room and talk to the mods in there. They will give you the information on how to sign up for the new thing that the mods are going to communicate through. Because if you don't, we have no way to communicate, and therefore it's completely ineffective. And you are one of the few mods. I think there's like four mods who haven't signed up yet. And if people don't sign up by the end of the month, we may have to just say, oh, well, we're going to find new mods. Because obviously mods need a way to communicate, right? So please uh, check it out and sign up, okay? I know it sucks. It sucks they're getting rid of it, but it's, they're going to make it harder for us to communicate, but it is what it is. <laughs> okay. Are we using Discord? No. What we're going to do is we're going to have smoke signals. 
We're going to send smoke signals out of each other's homes like the old Native Americans did. And we're going to look up at the skies and see what we're talking about. Oh, uh, let's see. It says, it says, dirty detractor face said something bad. You need to ban them. Okay, let's ban them. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right, so we're almost done with the cat statue. Almost. Not quite yet, but almost. Okay. Oh, uh, spill, smelly chair, you know, sign up for the new chat. This is, a, this is a way for mods to communicate. You guys have your own chat right here on the stream. Duh. You don't sign up for Jack Diddley. Okay. So here we go, continuing on. So this is towards the tail. Towards the tail. Okay. I believe that's sticking out. That's sticking out there. That's the staircase down. Okay. So we're going to do a block. A block. A block. Two more blocks sticking off here. By the way, guys, time's almost up. If you want to be top contributor of the night, only about 10 minutes left. So you have to contribute right away, okay? If you want to be part of the top contributor of the night, because I'm, I'm adjourning within 10 minutes here. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Did I just do that wrong? Yup. I'm supposed to be doing it towards the tail. The tail is right here. Okay. So towards the tail. <laughs> there we go. That's correct. Yes. And then one here. Yes. And then one here. And then two staircases like this upside down. Like that and like that. Very nice. That's correct. Yes. Yes, that looks good. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Full of smelly chair cheer. said, I thought I was going to be the newest mod. No, you're not. Then he said, I'm honest, fair, and balanced. No, you are not. Okay. Hello, Freddy B. How's it going tonight, man? You joined so late. We're adjourning within 10 minutes, Freddy B. You missed everything. Okay, continuing on. So we've got, okay, I'm standing right here. There should be a block here. Ah, it's not a block. A block here and a block here. In between there should be a slab. These are the final two slabs, a slab here and a slab here. Then there should be staircases going off these pieces. Like this. Quite the elaborate, uh... That did not work. Quite the elaborate statue. That did not work right. I did it wrong. Yeah, I did it wrong. It's my fault. That worked. Okay. <clears throat> See you later, Jump Boards, Yelson. And then we got two more going off the backs of these blocks. Like so. Okay. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right, we're almost done. In fact, one more thing and we're completely done. Holy shit. So right on top of those two blocks are two staircases like this. That's it. Now, the only thing missing is obviously if I want to color eyes or something later, I could do that. And if I could get whiskers, the were those coral fans, I could add those. And it says, I kind of have Anubis ears in this model. You can ask chat if they like the, those ears or want to change it. You could trim the sides off of it. Or use different block placements if you don't like it. 
If you want to add color, you can build the statue like normal, then add any color blocks you want, only replacing the outside blocks one at a time. So you know the exact block to replace it with. Here I use dark oak and spruce. Yeah, he changed it to be dark oak and spruce to have colorings to be like brown and light brown. And then he also put a blue collar on him. You can try is the, try changing the nose. Try to replace it with a pink wool block to see how it looks. <laughs> okay, well. Ladies and gentlemen. There you have it. Um... Mr. Papa Vera Cherry said, yay, good job, Phil. Let's let's get off this crazy thing. Let's go down to ground level and see how it looks. I gotta sleep, by the way. And then this is good because we're just about to adjourn the stream. So last chance if someone wants to top the top tipper right now of still Phil's smelly ass with a name. Um, you'd have to beat their $11 tip. And you would have to pick something. Right now, the top contributor wants me to build a giant Dr. Pepper can. However the hell we're going to figure that out, I don't know. I'll try to figure it out. Philip Smelly Cheer just did a 1,050-bit cheer. That makes you the top cheering contributor, Philip Smelly Cheer. Sadly, that is not the top contribution of the night. So I appreciate that. Not the top contribution. The top tipper uh, is on top of the, uh, is is greater than that. Okay? <clears throat> but I am going to put you up here as the top cheering contributor of the night. Thank you for that very much. Okay. All right. All right. Look at this. Here it is. You know, I wish we... You know what? I know what we're going to do. We're going to look at this from afar. How are we going to do that? We're going to first go over here. We're going to look at it from our giant grave that we built. And then we're going to look at it from a tower. And we're going to see how... Look. Silas Darko just to me $15. And here's to maybe being on top. Silas Darko is now on top, ladies and gentlemen. Um... So let's give t Silas Darko. Up here on the leaderboard is the top contributor so far tonight. Very few minutes left. And if anyone wants to beat that, we're up to $73 of tips. Thank you, guys. I really need that help, so thank you very much for that. Uh, Nighttime Tums. <laughs> what a name. Just did a 500-bit cheer and says... Phil, it would be fun if the top contributor of the month got their name on a plaque on your wall like an employee of the month. Well, I have no plaque to hang on the wall, and I can't afford a plaque every month. Um, honestly, I'm not sure how I would even figure that out. Because then I would have to look at total accumulated. Are you talking like total accumulated? That could be quite the daunting task. Because then not, not only are you, are you talking cheering, but you're also talking tipping. And it's hard to tell who tipped what. Because a lot of the times they're anonymous tips and it's probably not viable. Okay, just being honest, it's probably not. Unless I narrowed down the ways I accepted contributions, then maybe it would be more viable. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Dude, that is cool. It took a while. That is a cool Jasper statue, dude. Look at that. That is really neat. I like it, man. By the way, rest in peace to the bottom line is, here lies a backstabber. wonder what that's in reference to. Meh. Okay. So. Pretty nice, huh? In fact. I'm going to take a picture. I want to show my wife this later. I think she'll like it. Um... Here we go. Very nice. Now, in addition to that, oh, let's see. I am the Toe Master. Just cheers. I have to do my part to support the content. Cracking open a nice cold Pepsi while I watch the stream. Oh, my God. Thank you for the cheer. Um, one final thing. We have to dedicate this to Mr. Papa Vera. That was the final request, was that it be dedicated to Mr. Papa Vera for all his help building my Minecraft world over the past. Holy shit. Do you, you count December last year? It's now October, so 10 months where Mr. Papa Vera weekly has been helping us. So let's head back. Let's kill this freaking spider. It's huge. 
There we go. Kill the friggin' giant spider. Okay. Let's get back inside. Let's get a sign. Let's put this up here. And my man sex just said, yeah, he just literally chooses. Don't forget to name it in honor of Mr. Papa Vera. We're going to do that right now. <clears throat> Let's go get a sign, and this will be the last thing we do. Last chance. If anyone wants to be the top contributor, you have to beat Silas Darko's $15 tip in the next couple minutes. Holy shit! Deal nine hearts of damage in a single hit. So my sword is so overpowered now because of the build I put on this sword. It dealt nine hearts of damage in a single hit. Sharpness four. It's incredibly damaging. Yeah. Wow. Wait a minute. I just remembered what I was going to put on this sword. Mending. I was going to put mending on this sword so when I kill enemies, it heals itself. That's what I was going to do. And I never did it, and now I don't have enough experience to do it. We have to remember. Everyone make a note. Next time, I have to get enough experience and put mending on this sword. Okay? Kay just cheered and said, w would you, you being petty tonight? What does the third offense get you? Eh? I guess what you're saying is, uh, that's a reference to my Dishonored playthrough. No, my Thief playthrough. Excuse me. My Thief playthrough. Okay, here we go. Let's go name it. And that's it. So, if anyone wants to become top contributor, you have until I go put this sign out in front of the statue and name it in honor of Mr. Papa Vera. And that is it. We're done for the night, guys. Okay? I already went a little late because I started late. All right, here we go. Ta Generic username says, Congrats on the Jasper statue. He'll always be out of the closet when you play Minecraft. <laughs> All right, so... First of all, I should eat. Start. <laughs> Philip Smelly Chair just did a 2,000 bit chair. So, can we build a nice office and call it the Seattle Tax Department? <laughs> oh my god. Philip Smelly Chair just became the top contributor of the night with that, by the way. Well. Well. Thank you, Philip Smelly Chair, for the 2,000 bit cheer. You're currently the top contributor. If anyone beats it, great. But that was the top contribution so far. All right, so. In honor of the contributions of. Mr. Papa Vera. And it fits nicely. Not perfectly, but nicely. In honor of the contributions of Mr. Papa Vera. Nice. What a world we've built, guys. In 10 months, seriously. Mr. Papa Vera just cheered. said, that's awesome. Thank you. You're welcome, man. You've been a huge positive help. What I was about to say is, what a world we've built in 10 months, huh? Like, when I started playing Minecraft, first of all, I hated on Minecraft for so long, right? I did. I hated and hated on this game for so long. And really, in reality, um, you know, it was pretty unfair what I did and said about the game. And then when I finally gave it a shot in 2015, I was blown away by what I, what I experienced. The amazing creativity, the variety of gameplay you could do in the game. And now look at what we've built. I mean, I didn't build this village, but I built all the fencing. I built the towers. I built the farm. You know, I built the fences. I built the forest. I built the statue. I built a giant lighthouse. I built a barn with a bunch of animals. I built a giant water fountain sculptures. I built so much, you're right? It's so cool. Um... And I really enjoyed the past 10 months that we've played Minecraft on a pretty much a weekly basis. Now, one thing I have to say, 
Right now, I'm heading into the busiest gaming time of the year. I guarantee you this is not going to be able to be played for a bit. Maybe every once in a while I'll be able to squeeze in one stream at night, but chances are, with I mean, just this week, I'm going to be juggling just from a perspective. Plants vs. Zombies, WWE, Modern Warfare, and Outer Worlds. The week after that, we get the Halloween games. The week after that, we got an Olympic Games, Death Stranding. The week after that, we got Jedi, Fallen Order, and Pokemon. The week after that, we got Shenmue 3. So, potentially, we may not be playing Minecraft again till like, December. Okay? Um... It sucks, but that's just, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, I can definitely guarantee you we're not playing this again next week. There's no way. Maybe what I can do is try to squeeze in at the beginning of a month a little bit of extra mine. Remember what I said I was going to do is the first of every month, I was going to try to do a Minecraft early stream where it's the first stream four hours of Minecraft. And that way it gives people a chance to contribute and be top contributor who couldn't join in with the night streams. So maybe we'll do that. Okay. Um... So that would be November. That'll be Friday, November first. What I might even put on my calendar here is Minecraft, FYI, to remember the day after my Halloween marathon. We start with Minecraft the next day. Okay, <clears throat> we'll see. But thank you to everyone who contributed tonight. By the way, High Tech Specs did a couple of final cheers here. He said, "All Hill King Jasper the Wise," and nice work on the statue. Thank you. I like the statue. Papa Vera did a good job finding the blueprint and helping me step by step build it. Let's go sleep. And it looks like Philip Smelly Chair, no one has beaten him yet. He's going to be the top contributor. It looks like when we do come back to Minecraft, number one, we're going to try to put Mending on that sword. And number two, we're going to try to... Uh, we're going to try to build a tax office, if you can believe it. Good Lord. Sam Bridges shared, he said, Death Stranding, I'm hearing, is an extremely long and large open world game. Wouldn't be surprised. All the kitties run away from me. Okay. So for Minecraft, everyone, DSP signing off. I will see you sometime in the future. Maybe it'll be November 1st. Maybe it'll be further, depending on how we are doing with all the new releases. Thanks to everyone who chilled with me weekly for the past 10 months. And uh, until the next time we can play, thank you. I guarantee you we will continue with Minecraft when we get a chance. I just can't tell you when because it's so busy right now. But Minecraft will continue in the future. Thank you, everyone. And thanks for a great night. Thanks to everyone who contributed tonight. Philip Smelly Chair, the top cheerer. Silas Darko, the top tipper. Everyone was very positive and fun. We had a great amount of uh, contribu contributions, but also discussions tonight. Fun discussions that were really good. Sorry I started late, but now it is time to say goodnight. Peace out, everyone. See you later.